is our AM machinery, 716-1600, with a 190 log loader on it. Uh, what all the different numbers stand for, 716 is a 7 foot by 16 foot deck over dump. Uh, the 1600 means it's 16,000 pounds. AM 190 offers 19 feet worth of reach from the center of the trailer out and at that half reach mark it will pick up about 3,000 pounds. Uh, we are running this with a galvanized frame. It's not aluminum but galvanized. Uh, we do have a Honda power pack on this. It is a GX 390. Uh, heavy duty tandem axles. These are the 17.5 load range J tires. Uh, you'll never really see these things squat and then underneath we also have a set of equipment ramps uh, this is a special edition trailer uh, normally this would have some kind of a solid side to it uh, but we opted to do this trailer with the wooden deck because uh, we use it for moving around uh, the firewood bags and different things and I don't like standing on top of um, you know the, the slippery smooth steel or diamond plate uh, we did build these little bunk ramps going across the bottom here this lets the grapple get underneath the logs without scratching uh, the wooden deck up uh, these bunk poles are movable into each one of the different spots here uh, we also feature the heavy duty semi ratchet style uh, sliding straps on this This is a bumper pull unit. We do offer gooseneck and we can put an operator station a little bit higher up on the boom. Just wanted to step up here and show you the controls quick. And this leads us directly into the Brute Force 1624 wood processor. Uh, this is the extended deck model and drop down off the trailer here. Uh, this does feature the 38 horsepower Kohler EFI motor. Everything on this brute force is hydraulically driven. Uh, the three stand live deck uh, folds up and stores hydraulically. The attached 12 foot conveyor uh, sets up hydraulically. There are different wedges uh, that are hydraulically adjustable. That's our six way. Then inside the unit, I have our eight way. There's right about 20 inches worth of usable cutting space on the saw bar itself. Uh, the opening is right about 18 inches by about 20 high, so kind of an egg shape. It is a rounded log trough that brings the firewood in, so if it's kind of bent, crooked, nasty, it, it still infeeds pretty well. They are. Uh, or it is a torsion axle for highway towing. And now she does a really good job. We brought a unit very similar to this back from Boonville, New York at the last logger show before uh, and all this crazy stuff got canceled up like it is this year. There's the hydraulic saw motor itself. About a three gallon reservoir tank for the bar oil with a nice level indicator here. Heavy duty oil cooler, the hydraulic pump, and oil filter itself. And as I said, this is the 38 horsepower EFI Kohler V twin motor. It's really nice, just turn the key on and just let the pump power up. And uh, no choke or anything required, but just to uh, let it do its thing couple of new side chains kind of hanging off the side of this and then everything from this weld right here forward is part of the extended deck on this unit it does have a two inch ball hitch on it the attached conveyor is really really nice and from the processor we go straight to the big disc cleaner this thing is just amazing I mean it's just the customers always uh, make a comment about how clean the wood is. I know it sounds silly that clean firewood kind of sounds like an oxymoron, but when they're used to getting half of somebody's parking lot dumped off with uh, every load of firewood that comes off of somebody's pickup truck or mason dump, you know, the cleaner just knocks off all the saw bits and uh, loose bark and anything like that.
Uh, the picture just doesn't do this thing justice because it is huge. I know it weighs somewhere right around 3,500 pounds by itself because my Bobcat S300, the back wheel is get a little light coming off of this. Uh, there is a speed controller over on the other side. I'll see if I can't get over there to show you that um, and just how we run it. But big in-feed hopper, I can dump into that with the Bobcat bucket. You know, as quick as you can put it on there, it'll send it across and clean it out. And we'll go from the disc cleaner to the 25-foot radius axle stacking conveyor. Those radius axles are standard on the Brute Force conveyors. Uh, we did upgrade this one with a larger in-feed hopper, uh, just so either we can load it with the Halverson or with the disc cleaner, not have firewood splashing around everywhere. Uh, the hitch on this unit is removable. And what we actually did was we took an old wheel bearing out of the F550, and that's my pivot point to allow the radius axles to go back and forth pretty smooth with keeping the infeed side of the conveyor in one spot. Uh, we are running a Honda, I think it's a GX630 on this unit. Uh, the power pack on this actually runs both the stacking conveyor and the disc cleaner. So these are the controls. Uh, the one on the left is the forward, neutral, and reverse for the top drive hydraulic motor. And the one on the right is the conveyor up and down. Here are the radius axle wheels. Uh, here's the long feed hoses that go from the Honda power pack here back to the disc cleaner. I told you I'd show you where this was. So basically it goes from 0 to about 10. We run this somewhere around like a 5 or a 6. From the disc cleaner and the conveyor, we go right into the NNZ third of a cord log lift firewood bags. We do have a uh, bag full of uh, just uh, second use, third use, fourth use uh, kind of firewood bags. Uh, normally when they come on the pallet, they're pretty thin. Uh, which actually looks like that right there. It's about three quarters of a pallet. So these racks are something that we purpose built just to hold up the bags. Uh, they are about five feet wide, four feet deep, and the hooks are right about the six foot high mark. Uh, the radius axle stacking conveyor, we just kind of push it from one bag to the next to the next. And uh, when these three bags are filled, uh, we do have a full cord. So it's really nice to come back in with either the skid steer or the tool cat and pick these up and take them away. Uh, each bag weighs somewhere around I don't know, 1,500 to 1,800 pounds, depending on the species of wood going into it. There is a different bag that's out there. It's a power lift bag by NNZ. It's the same uh, nylon vented sides that you see here, but it will be on all four sides versus just the, well, we'll call it left and right. So you lose the, the nice mosquito netting. And what I really like about it, it's they're pretty showy. You know, for a retail location, when you fill this with firewood, uh, the customer can instantly see what's inside of it. So they, um, they know there's not just big nasty chunks kind of on the bottom. I'll show you what they look like here. So again, you can see right into the bag itself. And we do kind of overfill to make sure that we get everybody, you know, the third of a cord plus. So from the NNZ log lift bags to the Halverson HWP120 firewood processor. Uh, again, these are standard flow units. Needs 15 and a half gallons a minute, right around 2850 PSI. Uh, a little bit more is always better, except for the pressure that does top out around 3000 PSI. The gallons per minute will tolerate up to around 26, 27 gallons a minute. Uh, standard flow, uh, the HWP120 comes standard as a fixed four-way. Uh, we have this one upgraded with an adjustable wedge, which means it's also removable for cutting big rounds uh, for shoving in your outdoor boiler, or you can let that head float through the I-beam and uh, let the four-way crash down and split 
like a two-way, remove the four-way and add in the additional six-way wedge. Uh, the unit does come as a plug-and-play, meaning if you have that large 14-pin connection and at least five function buttons inside the cab of your machine, you can run this Halverson uh, right off your existing skid steer controls. If not, we do offer an in-cab wiring harness that you get two buttons that zip tie into the cab of the machine. And uh, I do have that set up in my uh, Bobcat S300. Uh, this is the Halverson HWP140B. This is the full-on production animal in the Halverson lineup. Uh, it does come standard with the adjustable wedge and same deal it is removable you can swap out the four-way for the six-way it is also plug-and-play uh, my bobcat does not have the electrical package on it so i'll show you those in cab controls here they are marked right and left so that way you can't really confuse what's going on and they just zip tie right in the front each button does something out on the processor itself. So again, these are the two models from Halverson, uh, the HWP140B here in front of me and the 120 off to the right hand side there. So just again, uh, with all of the firewood and logging shows being canceled this year, it's really tough. Uh, for you as a customer to get out and compare these different models and different firewood products for yourself. So just wanted to take a quick minute here and uh, just show you kind of what we have going on. Well, again, I am AJ Shaver with Shaver Sales. Just wanted to say thank you for spending some time with us here during this video that we could showcase a couple of the things that we have. Uh, if there's a quote that you would like on anything from AM Machinery, from Brute Force, from Halverson, or any of the other brands that we carry, uh, please don't hate to call us at 833-SPLITTER. That's 833-775-4887. You can also email us, sales at shaverequipment.com. We'd love the opportunity to earn your business through a sales quote, so please contact contact us today. Uh, we do work really hard on offering a lot of different wholesale discounts for our customers. I don't have a lot of overhead, so we just kind of pass that savings on to you. So again, 833-SPLITTER or sale at shaverequipment.com. Thank you so very much for spending some time with us, and uh, hopefully you'll check us out next time. Thanks for watching.